Okay, let's see if we can take this top off. And just a little bit of glue. So it's holding it in. There we go. And a uh, Lee press on nail. So this is our top. And I wonder if, let's see if I have a, um, a router bit. Why we need a router bit is because if I cut this in half, then I want to continue the detail all the way around. Even though this is really scratched up, we're just going to sand this, refinish it, and it's going to look really nice. So let's uh, break out the router bits. And so the molding underneath that creates a detail on the underside is just a peel off piece. Wow, look at that. Let's uh, let you see that better. This is just a rounding over bit. And if you put it right about there, that is going to be perfect. So once we cut it to size, we'll just round it over with that detail and I think we'll match. The next question is, can I take this panel here and replace this with it? This piece would just go right in here and this would go, I'd have to notch this to accept this piece and I would have to notch down here to accept that piece. If I can remove this nicely and put and remove this piece nicely and put it right in there. Hmm. Maybe we shall see. Maybe I'll do this first. Just removing this little piece right here. So that's kind of what my task is here. Because if I can remove this little piece, and then I can slide it right in there. That would be really cool. Okay, so let's remove these staples. See if I can get this piece off without screwing everything else up. And uh, let's do that. Some might say he's a madman, others possibly a genius, but there's one thing for sure, he completely wrecked a perfectly good desk. It worked great, needed a little bit of love, one of the legs was a little bit wobbly, but otherwise it would have been great for somebody to do a lot of cool stuff with, desk type, I don't know, school. Um, but no, that's not what's going to happen with this. Possibly nothing. Possibly the garbage. Or fire pit. Yeah, fire pit. But let's see if we can't resurrect this and possibly make this live on as the world's most fabulous three drawer cabinet. Lighten up, Francis. <laughs> okay, test fit number one. This piece used to be out here. I brought it all the way in here. Yes! It fits! It fits! Sorta. Kinda. A couple of twists and turns aside and it shall be... It shall be mine.
So I think the first thing I'm going to do... Oh, hello. Oh, cool. Thank you. All right, you too. Mailman. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this to length, and then this just goes fits right in there. I'm just going to measure the bottom one and see how long that is, and then I'll make it the same length. Pretty easy. Okay, the moment of truth. This is the moment we see if my idea is correct or not. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. That's cool. Several days later. Let's do a little bit of a side project here. You know, as a YouTube superstar, with tens of followers. Uh, we don't want to just have any sponsor uh, getting free advertising. Or also we don't want, um, maybe other companies don't want you sponsoring their brand or showing their brand name on there. So I realized that my hat about, uh, I don't know, two months ago, the, the uh, piece of black tape fell off so what I'm gonna do today is put a new piece of black tape on there that way nobody will know what it says under my hat just a little bit of a lesson there to help you guys out and another thing that's really important is like you have all these different products that you use and so like this unknown product here when I put this piece of tape over there then people can't tell what it is they have no idea what, what, it, what it is and so I can use this product without anybody knowing or this other fine product here by right there then all of a sudden can't tell what it is so just a public service that I thought I would bring to you okay so I spent a little bit of time working on this uh, before I do the assembly just about ready to do that and what I did is I I screwed this together like that to make that really secure and then I um, have to put that in place. I have to put a little bit of a spacer here because if you remember this is where the broken the broken piece was uh, for that one foot that was broken off. So I use this other foot which actually I think it goes over here but then I switched it off to use these two instead so to keep them all kind of like at the same spot you know uh, so the foot is centered um, I had to put a little bit of a spacer right here and then um, we'll go from there so I think I'm gonna break out the the drill and the screws and the, uh, the brad nailer get the air compressor going and uh, we'll see if we can uh, put this thing in place Okay, so I've got my brad nailer with, I don't know, inch and a quarter or something like that. And uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, that's this isn't attached yet, to attach this piece here. And then what I want to do is I want to transcribe the position of this here onto the other piece. So I make sure when I put this on that, well, this is pretty secure. I think it's probably going to be, uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I think that should be fine. I think once I put that on there, I think it's going to be all right. So let's go with it. All right, so let's um, glue and screw this and uh, we'll get it on there. sink and drill in one because what I want to do is sink that 
down below. Then we use the screw. Hmm, I'd really rather have a longer one. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Because this is like the main thing that's holding on this leg. Nice. See that glue squirt out? Right there. Looking good. Okay, so this is the leg mount right up here. Now let's put some screws in here, right here. Bless you, really. And then this one's already painted, so that's good. And then I kind of want to figure my depth here. I don't want to go too far. If I make this and then move this up so that I could sneak another screw down under here. And then two more here. You get the picture. I think we should do some fast motion. Ready, go. gonna go here wow nice <laughs> hey that looks really good all right let's glue it all up and screw it all up oh, that didn't sound right all right so I think this is just a process of just putting a whole bunch of glue all over the place Does that go on top? I hope it does. <laughs> I hope that's where that goes. In here, in here. That's not really going to glue anything, but what the heck? Can't hurt, right? And glue is cheap. Let's get a few of these things uh, packed in place. Then we'll put some screws in them. But the uh, the brads here will just hold it nicely so we can get a nice screw in there. See, my screws are sticking out here. <laughs> I mean, my, my nails, but that's okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go around and uh, like put some screws in and um, I think it should be good. <laughs> 